Hi there, welcome to my build of this 45 inch wingspan, New Era 3. Now, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the fuselage, which, as I've said numerous times, still looks like a bit of a fence post. But what we're going to do, start to do, which is really exciting, and I've been looking forward to this for a while, is shaping the fuselage, trying to get it from this square stick into something that looks a little bit more profiled and, and smoothed out, it's particularly around the nose here and that nose ring and getting it like a nice, uh, a nice sleek aircraft that looks like it can really fly. So if we have a closer look on the bench and I'll show you how I'm going to start doing this. Start on the top of the fuselage first and, uh, and see how that goes. At the end here I We've got the slot here which the tailplane fits into and what I've done is I've just cut myself a piece of balsa the, the right size to slot into there and I'm just going to leave that there and it will prevent me pressing down and, and, and damaging that, possibly breaking it and at, the wor and at the least making it more difficult to, to sand and plane. So I've put that in there. In the centre section here, where we've got the canopy, I'm going to leave this more or less untouched, slightly rounded, just to, to profile it a little bit and make it smoother, but essentially I'm not going to be reducing that. And that's because that is where the main section of the canopy is going to lap down. The rest of the canopy is going to roll up around on the top, so that's not a problem, I'm going to profile the back, profile the front and kind of gradually bring it, bring, bring it out to, to the square edge here. Now I'm going to start, just put my canopy somewhere safe, and I'm going to start by using my David plane and I'm just going to be taking off the corners to a, a, a 45 degree, as I say, tapering out from there and I think I'm going to put a brand new blade in there because that is had quite a bit of use and when you're doing a job like this a nice sharp blade is lovely. What I think I'm going to do because we've got on the top here we've got uh, 3 8 9.5mm balsa and then we've got these sides which are I think 3 16, just looking at the plan over here, uh, and then we've got the triangular stock in the bottom. So I'm going to plane the whole of this at a 45 degree angle, just to the point where I meet that triangular stock. And then once we've got to that, I'm going to start to round it over and smooth it out. So I'm going to get on with this now, and we can come back and have a look and, and see how that's going along the way. Right, well I've now got the sides down to uh, roughly about 45 degree angle and I can just start to see the triangular stock starting to show through on this centre section. Here obviously as I said it peters out, two lines on the fuselage where I'm not going to do the corners because it's going to lap down. And I've petered it out a little bit here, I'm, I'm a bit concerned, I don't want to take off too much more at the moment on this tail section or I'm going to have nothing to attach my fin to, or, or it seems that way, I'm sure it would be fine, but I'm just being a little bit more careful there. I've got a centre line down here, which has been really useful for just getting these kind of even, and obviously that will be 
important when I come to cutting the slot for the fin. I didn't want to do the slot for the fin before doing this because it would just make it weaker down here and, and, and that and it's easy to cut in the slot afterwards. So now I've got through to the triangular stock what I'm going to start to do now is just use the plane and bring this round to a kind of a smooth rounded profile. Probably work on the top first and again using this centre line and just working this up to the centre line and then smoothing this down. I'll get to a point though where I will use my sanding stick because that's probably a lot kinder. It doesn't take off quite so much as the uh, as the plane but we'll we'll see how that goes. But it'd be nice now to start to round this over. I've now got that to, to quite a nice smooth profile on the back and I'm probably not going to do any more now with, with the plane. Uh, the sanding stick will take off all I need to take off now and um, I'll take this outside to do this but I think I'm, I'm going to take off too much if I carry on with the plane. But I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. Obviously there's still quite a lot of work to do but that's a, a quite a nice shape. I, I started to just plane this on the underside, it has just a very small chamfer, it's, it's not much and there's no triangular stock in here so I need to be very careful. But I, I started to do it with the plane and it just started to pick up because it's cross grain. So because of the small amount it's going to be really easy just to do that with a, a sanding stick all I need to do. So I think as far as planing is concerned the back end is now finished and I'm going to move on to do this front end, just the um, just up to here to the edge of the um, engine bay, and this piece of the en engine bay I did actually make slightly longer so there was an overhang. I thought that would look better than finishing flush, which was as per the plans. So I need to decide how I'm going to round that off as well. And once I've done that. I'll move on to the underside, which because of the cross grain, again, I will probably need to sand, but we'll see how that goes. I'm not going to sand this at the moment because I'm going to get the odd sort of ding maybe just on the bench as I'm moving it around, sand, uh, planing it, but I'm going to plane that front now. Right, I think I've probably done as much as I'm going to do now with the, uh, the plane. And I've got this top nicely rounded. Yes, there's going to be quite a bit more probably to come off here with the sanding stick. And I've done around the nose here, but because of the, the cross grain, I used the scalpel just to put that on the table and cut it down very carefully. A big 
scalpel blade I used my uh, number four number four handle and a number 26 uh, blade which is this really big blade and uh, that nice new blade it cuts off quite nicely so now I'm going to go outside and I'm going to spend the next half an hour sanding this with a sanding stick and uh, it's starting to look really nice I'm, I'm starting to, to, to feel really pleased that it's going to look like a really nice sleek plane Right, well, I've now more or less got the fuselage finished and it's looking lovely. This is such a rewarding process. I absolutely love doing the shaping. And you can see it's, it's really now taken on a much lighter appearance. It's not totally finished. I, I've still got a final uh, finishing coat to do, if you like, a final sand to do and there is just the odd mark here and there but I, I will get that done at a later date just before I cover it when I do the, the finishing of everything also I want to fit the engine in a bit and just put on the, the, spin, the back plate of the spinner and make sure I'm 100% lined up with the, the engine, the spinner and this um, the plywood nose ring it's still a little bit over still a little bit oversized and I've done that deliberately because I don't want to bring it right down and then find out it's slightly offset so that's that's something I'll do at a later stage as well but that now is we'll take take that bit out that now is essentially finished and it probably took me it probably took me not much more than about 30 minutes although I had to do it in se several trips out because the uh, it, it was raining a little bit so uh, I had to keep stopping but I'm really pleased with that and uh, I'm looking forward now to getting this uh, this model finished so thanks for watching and um, I hope I hope you found that useful and please subscribe please come back and uh, and see how we carry on with the continuation of this build and you know there's not long left to go before we we actually get this into the air hopefully